What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to another video. I think my intros get weirder by the video. Like, I think they just get more and more awkward. But you know, if you're still here and you still love me, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys along my little piercing journey um nose piercings to be exact lots of you guys have been asking me like about my pain tolerance etc literally from the day i got my septum piercing but it was like i i i don't know i just didn't feel like talking about it then but i can talk about it now since i have two now and this one was it, we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it and we're gonna get into the backstory and we're also gonna get into how my dad was not pleased and um I'll, I'll tell you how that goes but before we get into it make sure you like comment share subscribe share my channel with whoever whatever let's get to 20k seashells yeah yeah but i love it by the end of the year but well, if that possible i'm gonna be realistic i don't think that's possible but you know still subscribe if you're new all of that wonderful stuff and without further ado let's get into the video all right so first things first, I got my first piercing, like my first extra piercing. Like my ears have been pierced since I was a baby. So that don't count. My first extra piercing is my septum piercing or was my septum piercing. And I got that in August of 2019. That is when I moved to, you know, my last house. That's the time i just moved there and i'm like i've been wanting the septum piercing since high school like if you know me from high school you know me and i always i catch the little earring in our nose and both have septum piercing until some people literally got septum piercings at the time like real ones and i was really literally fake the entire time but yeah from i loved it from a long time ago and i used to follow up this youtuber called brie hall her nose piercings were just top tier to me and i was like i want that i want that but you see me never know say could i flip up and all them something that could i hide and i was like you see the type of dad that i have him um, not really deal with them foolishness they understand he does not like the piercings he doesn't like fake hair braids nothing he doesn't like you know the excessive makeup you don't like nails tattoos in my life no not it's no not it but you know me um a millennial whatever you want to call me i am gonna like these things unfortunately as the years went by and the older i got i just started getting more stuff done and doing a lot of stuff that probably pissed them off start it's, it would start from the nails i used to love doing my nails when i was younger like like just polish but i would always want bright colors and i remember this one time they put on bright color for my birthday and i'm gonna tell me rub it off I was very upset like I was big mad I think I was like 15 16 but you know I respect the man and I, I was never a rebellious child or anything like you literally don't have to talk to me too hard let me just stop this something so that was that like, he told me to take it off I took it off and that was that probably it wasn't 16 probably 15 I think it was 16 I even know like how I started like breaking into getting nails and him not saying anything to me is that one day like one time i got acrylics for the first time but i did them really short so he wouldn't like notice and then over time them just start get longer 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 and then he was just like i think you just reach a point where i'm just like in camera i'm not gonna address it or whatever and then now he's just like why do you get these long things on your fingers like why why would you do that to yourself and i'm just like because i like it <laughs> and that's that same thing with the wigs and eat them to this day eat them but me love them so i don't care now we're getting into the piercing this this was kind of the hard part because i didn't start off with this piercing i started off with the septum so that it kind of drastic i'm not gonna it, it's a little bit drastic so i literally when i came back to kingston that summer and i moved into that old into the house that i just moved from when i moved there it was just so spontaneous like i got up one day and said i'm going to get this piercing i want it and i want it no literally i just put on my clothes at the same time and jump straight in our taxi go pop in and tell him do it do it sir do it i'm gonna insert the video of when i got that piercing Nothing. 
Gusto? So yeah, that's how that went. I went home, I was feeling it, made it like it, you know me, I snap on about myself. But I felt guilty on the inside because it's like a lot of things that I do, I would give my dad a heads up. Like no matter what, like even if in fact I would at least let him know in advance that listen, this is what I'm gonna be doing. So that was like the first kind of major thing that I hid and i was like how big we got portland and hide this because i didn't know how to hide it and i'm like i don't know how i'm going to do this and every time i try it would have hurt and i'm just like jesus christ i don't know what to do so i literally drafted up an epistle to send to this man because i didn't want to call him but i want to go over there and see him in person and the awkward vibes or whatever so i'm just like you know what i'm gonna send an epistle you're gonna have to read it and i said what i said and that's it because at the end of the day i'm an adult now and i should be able to do what i want etc etc like i'm gonna find it i literally had to write it down in my notes first <laughs> before i'm sending it <laughs> so i'm actually going to read some of it i'm actually going to read some of it to you guys so i think from this you kind of get the relationship that me and my father have so so you know how i've been feeling down every once in a while well when i feel down i like to do something or change something i already tried to explain this once but you brushed me off i was saying for example chopping off my hair or dyeing it getting a piercing or whatever something temporary i can't talk to you in person or over the phone because i can't deal with when you get upset and hang up on me or ignore me for days so text is better because i get to say everything in the hopes that you read it and sometimes in life i'll do things that you won't like and that other people won't think is ideal to do but it's a new day and age and i just simply can't live to please people all the time period and nothing i do will ever take away from my morals nor would i do anything that would harm my reputation and i know you always say don't let anyone have anything to say about me and I haven't done anything I'm not proud of, so what is talk? Anyway, let them talk. They'll find something to talk about regardless. And if I keep on worrying about what people are going to say, I will never live my life. I said, I think it's only fair that some things I just do as long as I believe I'm not going to be put in harm's way. And I was never really one to hide anything from you out of respect and because of the relationship we have. So of course, I will tell you whatever I have to say, even if you get upset. I'll feel better that I got it off my chest. You won't agree with everything I do and vice versa but let's just be logical i know it's hard for you to grasp that things done in this generation is different from how you would have done it but that's just the way things are and unfortunately i'm part of it so some things i'll just do and you won't see the sense because times are different now anyway i say this to say i got a nose piercing and if you won't and i know you won't like it so out of respect i won't wear it around you but i like it i could have really just hid it from you but i prefer not to keep secrets and as I said earlier, I like to do temporary things because I know I can go right back to normal. Etc, etc, etc. I'm like, you don't have to agree with me, but that's just me and that's what it is and that's what they do. So that was my little epistle, my little paragraph, my little whatever. Like people, like when I tell my friends, I'm going to send this long epistle, they were like, that's serious? And I'm like, honestly, I don't think it was that serious for me to write an epistle, but... But then I could just get some things out of my chest. And yeah, as I say, we have a really good relationship. And I didn't want to just feel like me yeah, I disrespect more anything. Even though I'm an adult and I can literally do whatever the f I want. Because, yeah. See, because I know he doesn't like those things. I try not to do certain things around him. Or, you know, when I'm in the comfort of my own space or whatever. I just do whatever the hell I want. But 
for peace of mind i just don't do stuff around him that he doesn't like and i would expect him to do the same not to do stuff around me that i don't like so that's literally just what it is that was that whole shebang and he literally ignored me him seeing me good good seeing me uh in my anyway, i said just i said vix no like he's not gonna even sad for me again and i kept calling him and him answered and i was like did you see my text and he's like yes and i'm like okay the other thing is i said nose piercing so i was never specific that it was a septum because i feel like if i mentioned that then yeah he would have probably been mad he probably thought it was just this one regular degular no i went all out sir <laughs> i got a septum break i am a cow before we even like gets into that part so before i told him i wanted to flip it up never know how to flip it up and the guilt did i eat me because i'm like i'm going to portland soon and i don't know how to do this so i took it out four days after i pierced it literally i took it out four days after i pierced it i'm also gonna insert that video like it, i struggled i remember the day i was on live and i was struggling to take the ball off because it wouldn't come off but yeah i'll insert that video check it out please mm -mm. all right ah praise the lord you think me if we go back on live we'll take it out so, so pass your kick you out now and it was a start to blood. <laughs> I joke, I joke, that's not gonna happen. Okay, I'll miss it. My friend, you take it out now. Take yours. I'm gonna miss it. Yeah, my choice gonna miss. So guys, come gather around, gather around around if you were on the live earlier you would have known that I am trying to take out my piercing this is how far I've gotten I actually found some gloves and thank the heavens I got the ball off and we can't really see ball right now but thank God I got the ball off I'm taking out the piercing because it hurts like a bitch and I can't take it anymore can't take it so only thing left for me to do is literally just take it out and I won't have this piercing anymore back like a week after if so long and then after after a while you know we did go on youtube and i was googling how to flip this up how to flip this up because i was like i'm going to get it like my not take out this person again i'm going to learn to hide it one last thing um i do want to show you guys is how to flip up your septum ring so this is how i do it um i've seen other people on youtube do it differently but i'm just showing you how i do it so i pull down and literally all right my nails are kind of in the way but if you don't have any nails it's much easier so i just do that and push it upwards because when you pull down here this part of your nose will get elongated so this will be easier to slide up so just like that literally there's the ring to take it down literally just pull it down and that's that so 
my i don't have sea salt so this is what i used to clean my piercings i bought it on ebay i think you can buy it on amazon too so it is this arm and hammer simply saline first aid antiseptic wound care it's a three in one and it also has soothing aloe in it i will get a little container spray some of this or i spray it in this literally spray it in there put the q-tip and put it on the piercing clean it or i'll put it in a different container put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds so it can get warm and dip a cotton into it a cotton ball put it on the piercing leave it for a little while and that is really it um i used to use the triple antibiotic ointment on it but i didn't like how it left my face oily but i do think it works though but i didn't i was not very consistent to this and i literally used to use before i got this i used to use salt and water literally hot water with salt in it and that's how i used to clean it but this is really good this is really good i have not gotten any bumps since i've done this piercing this one it did take a while to heal i've had this piercing since july i've had it for five months and up to last month it did act up and you know i have a little pus and whatever because i think i irritated it um i also changed the ring it was much better for me because the other ring that i had i don't know my nose just felt like it wasn't healing so i changed the ring and yeah that's pretty much it so with this now i hesitated for so long to get it because i'm like i don't really want that on my face you know but then after a while i'm like you know it might be cute so me shakili will literally just say you guys want to get a piercing <laughs> and we just literally go to our needles got it like we never put much thought into it we just went and we do it because honestly if you think too much about a piercing you will stall and stall and stall and not get it gonna insert that too hey y'all so today girl's driver but anyways um we decided spontaneously that we're all gonna get a piercing so i'm gonna get so i'm gonna do it on the scene yeah i'm gonna go there with that too they're checking it out. Oh, they're not, it's very uh, card. Hmm? Okay, no? Okay. Can I better not share my ring? I can share my this morning. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't working. Or Scotia was down or something like that. Scotia, you keep letting me down. How long do you piercing you? Get the damn piercing. What? You're going first. Thank you. Pierce the thing. Yeah. So then you're going to look for the camera and say, I see you went to need it. <laughs> what is that? Say what? Oh, you found peer pressure. Right. <laughs> you just wanted company. Watch chicken. Yeah. We don't do the birth thing already from Peer yesterday. Peer pressure, guys. Peer pressure, you first did want it. Peer pressure. <laughs> oh, come, let's go. Come, let's go. I did not say that. You say, yeah. come, you still want to get your piercing. What I want to get down every day, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I could do about this one. Me not go back to my gum because no one can. Road of Paris. This is Mm. A little further back. 
right behind where you're marked. So I can't change it down to eight weeks time. Okay. What about like if I get a bump? You stop using the sea salt or to use alcohol to clean it and give yourself a triple antibiotic or anything like that. Oh, what kind of antibiotic? Triple antibiotic or Okay. <sighs> Alright, thank you. much it on a scale of one to ten the septum hurt like a four out of ten when i re-pierced it it was like a five in this the regular nose one mm, 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 mm. this was like an eight out of ten it did act it's just annoying when you have a cold and you want to blow the book with them and the nose ring just in the way that is the only downside but other than that it is great Medicare when no 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 was did aunt. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.